This is an area in Eglinton Country Park. To the, to the edge of this field, there is a clearance cairn. There's even a section of bog oak here. Bog oak is the name given to any sort of wood that has become petrified, pickled by organic acids within peat bogs. It can be of a considerable age. It can be dated from the darkness of the wood. This one here could be, for instance, anything up to 8,000 years old, which date, dates back towards the Neolithic times. Clearance cans are the stones removed from a field when a field has been prepared for agriculture after the trees had been felled. So this could date right back to Bronze Age times, or could be more recent. These stones, some of them show signs of ploughing marks. That is, the surface of the stone is scratched by the plough. Indication that this particular clearance can might be of some age is that a number of these ploughing marks are crisscross, which is the pattern that was used prior to the development of the cast iron steel ploughs. So these tend to be called ard marks. The ard is the name for the old wooden plough, sometimes with flint attached to the side to help with the ploughing process. Now these stones, if they have plough marks, would have been below the ground, but would have been removed once discovered, whilst other stones were removed from the surface. Clearly they would interfere with the ploughing process. They also would pre prevent the crops from growing wherever they were sitting. They also reduced um, the water that was entering the field. These clearance cans are frequently found at the edge of fields. Sometimes they're called field stones and they were used in the construction of the older houses, barns, etc. So the rather massive size of, a regular, of regular stones found in some of the older farms indicate they came straight from the field. They weren't quarried for the purpose. It's even been suggested that the removal of the larger stones from the fields led to the sport of stone carrying, such as you have in the World's Strongest Man competition and so on. It's also been suggested that uh, sometimes you have uh, a series of cairns and that these may have been deliberately left because they would retain the heat of the sun and that might possibly raise the temperature of the area where the crops are growing even by a slight amount. A number of these cairns were later used as burial sites so that burial cairns may simply be a convenient way of using the clearance stones for a burial purpose.